because I'm a bit of a technical geek, and I'm sure many people are in this in this uh, seminar. Can you hear him? Just breathe deeply. Uh, okay. <laughs> Speak up. Technical um, geek that you technical are. Technical geek. That I <laughs> <laughs> um, people like Stephen Hawking talk about alternate universes, baby universes, the the multiverse, those kind of concepts, and of course, on programs like uh, what the quantum version of what the bleep they talk a lot about alternate universes and quantum mechanics and and quantum the quantum connection to perhaps those alternate universes is it feasible for us to to uh, to make more connections or to to kind of nourish those connections well, your we, your is this highly technical at this stage or are we doing this all the time you're doing it all the time you're doing it all the time because you because everything that exists exists and the law of attraction is managing the vibrational frequencies and the cooperative components are coming together in in manifestation in experiential expression in other words but we want to talk in a little bit of detail about what you're talking about because let, let's start at a basic place while it is a very difficult thing to get your thoughts wrapped around the the amount of expansion or existence is there still it's easy to theoretically suppose from your perspective what's out there and of course we agree with all of that we can confirm that all of that and so much more you have barely begun to discover all of that but in the same way that you are now addressing the idea of this inner being we want you to acknowledge that there are more there is more in that inner world than you ever could contemplate or would really care to contemplate and there is more in this outer expanded world than you could contemplate and you came into this physical time space reality because and, and this is the thing that we want all of those geeks and geniuses to come round to understanding that what life is in its purest in its most successful form is a consciousness focused in a satisfying moment so when you think about this time space reality that is big enough that it calls you but small enough that it is contemplatable in other words it's big enough that it inspires you and small enough that it's manageable to focus because consciousness is about focus and emotion is about the success of the focus and life is about how you feel in your focus so you can sort of feel that when you try to contemplate the all that all that isness how you sort of lose your place within it you begin feeling insignificant inconsequential or even just lost in the possibilities of all of it your inner being who has an 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 inner being your inner being is receiving its expansion from what you are contributing through your exposure to life here and there is a satisfaction in that focus in other words your inner being is with you here your inner being is focused with you here every consciousness in that eternal cycle of inner beings is all coming forward into this now this is the thing that we really want you to understand all coming forward into this now and this now matters far more than what's out there in the galaxies than what's out there in other words this is where it's at this right. is where it's at right. this is what it is about you see and you know what makes man keep looking out there for answers and and for <laughs> is is an insufficient understanding of what this is right Right. an insufficient understanding of the value of this manifestation of the value when you have dinner with friends and you have a really good time there is not a more sacred or spiritual utilization of the energy that creates worlds that exist in all of the universe that's me that's meaningful life experience you see right. and so what is it what is it with you humans <laughs> 
Esther's been watching too much yeah. television. What, what is it? What is it that makes you want to make what you're living insignificant? While you're looking to the ethers, while you're looking to the stars, while you're looking to the, while you're looking somewhere else for the answers, for the intelligence, for the, when, yeah. when it is all, all of that, all of that has resulted in this. Look here, look here, look here, look here, mm -hmm. live here, be here, feel here, create here. You see, it's sort of like in the early days, a lot of you were wanting to talk about out of body experiences and alternate realities. And we say, if you knew how much you wanted to be in these bodies, you wouldn't be trying to get out of them all the time. And, and this conversation so far is about the source within you adoring, exploring through the perspective that is you. In other words, we are exploring through you, whether you like it or not, you, awesome. we, you, you cannot pinch our perspective off from that, which you are. It's, we, we have all been in this together for too long. You can pinch your perspective off from that, which we are. And when you do, in other words, when, you, when we're blowing and flow, blowing and flowing through you, like we always are, and you're not having any of us, you don't feel so good, <laughs> but it doesn't keep us from blowing and flowing through you. We don't hold back just cause you're not ready. <laughs> That's great. And when you feel negative emotion it's cause you're trying to hold back. You're setting up a tension. It's like, it's like being in a raging river and holding on to something and the water just beating you up as it flows through you. You see, sort of like yeah. that. Yes. So we're not trying to discourage you from your alter other dimensional thoughts or from, or from your satisfaction of exploring the vastness of the universe, because certainly consciousness is expanding everywhere. And this is not the only time space reality that is a leading edge of thought either, but it's where you are and it's what you intended to focus upon. And when you do, it's where you'll receive your greatest satisfaction. And when you don't, you will receive a lesser satisfaction. You, we, you, we, you, we, you, we will always be reaching for that, which is more because expansion is necessary to eternalness, but not necessary in the sense that it's ever at risk. It, it is just a fact of the eternal expansion. And when you get it and go with it, you're going to have a joyful experience. When you accept the inevitability of your eternalness and you accept the inevitability of your expansion, and then you eagerly embrace expansion by not trying to hold to what is, but by enjoying the new thoughts that come, then you've got it. And so, so a paradox would be if you think that what we're saying to you is don't explore those universal thoughts. That's not what we're saying. We're just saying, don't get too far ahead of where you are satisfied in the moment. And there are so many people that are looking there because they're dissatisfied here. That's really the point that we yeah, were making. Right, right. This isn't getting it for them. So they're looking, <laughs> they're looking somewhere else for satisfaction. And, and, and unless you're satisfied here, you're not going to find satisfaction looking beyond here. Cause anywhere he, anyway, here is where it's at. Here is where it's at. Here is where it's at provided you're in a vibrational place to allow that, which is us to be here where you're at. Mm -hmm. But you can't disallow us from being here where you're at, but you can perceptually disallow knowing that we're here where you're at, in which case you won't feel very good when we're here where you're at. <laughs> Make sense? Yes. Yes. Very good. Well.